Hello everyone, you're watching Sim Airport and this is Dev the Sunny Panda. Welcome. Hope you're all having a great day and we are playing some more of this fun, fantastic little game. Thanks for all the support. I'm seeing the views this series is getting and I'm liking it so far. And we stopped off last time after we found out that we really can't have an extension this side, which was bad. Like we couldn't have gates this side, but I did do a bit of re replanning in the structure of how I would have my second runway and uh, the airport pan out. So what we're going to do is instead of having a runway parallel like we were planning, we'll have a runway here with taxiways as such and gates all over here. So that makes the most sense to me, at least currently, until we get some more land expansion op options from research and then we can expand out. I don't know which side I can expand out to, but we'll see once we get there. Okay, and there's a lot of unused space here too. We could plan something out in the in the future in terms of just making everything good. But what uh, there was another thing that I wanted to do was pull this runway closer towards home, towards this side. So once we get this runway operational on this end, we can dismantle this runway. Okay, cut cut out all these taxiway parts and have runway here. So the runway closer to our um, what do you call it? The runway closer to our terminal will be for landings and the runway further from our terminal will be for takeoff. So let's get started. Let's put things uh, on speed, on higher speed. While I was doing the planning and stuff, I realized that I had assigned the back to depot these, this gate, second gate that we put in. So I have done that now. Everything seems to be going fine. There are no delays or problems. Let's repair this phone charging stations. Let's see our research if we need to do anything. Um, uh, we don't need advanced ticketing. What we needed was um, aviation ops. We got that. Okay. Um, VP of finance is probably our next step to go to. Uh, hire, I love hiring a construction forma, uh, foreman. Maintenance allows you to build intersecting runways. Let's, uh, let's start researching VP of finance because we need to lower we need to increase our profits and we do that by lowering the income tax we're paying and let's build our runway runway a concrete runway costs 14,000 uh, no. why does it cost more to create concrete okay let's go with the asphalt a 90 um, 90 tile runway bam let's get it built for by our workers we don't have a lot of workers by the way I think uh, we just have three of them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire three more four more workmen let them start coming in and start working we're making money out of our um, gates and we should probably be making more once we have one more gate is this getting delayed all right yeah everything seems perfect Let, once they build that runway we need to invest on all the upgrades to do that runway too and then the taxiways are going to cost a lot and once we have this runway we're going to require at least one taxiway connected at both ends okay uh, let's build a taxiway and uh, the taxiway goes here and here Let's get that built up and let's get this connected to one. Oh my god, I used up so much money. Phew. <laughs> almost, almost in the negative with all this construction going on. Okay, we really need uh, so many buses coming in. We need to place that. Um, we need to place a stop here, but the stop costs so much. Look at this. Look at this. A terminal uh, or a station rather. What is it called? Sorry, what is it called? Uh, train, uh, LRT platform. It cost one hundred and ninety-four thousand to build it. I should have probably built that first before this. But we'll be in the green again tomorrow. No biggies, no biggies. Um, 
I don't have I don't need to pay anything uh, but I can buy some I uh, get some loan buy some loan ah. um, but I don't think I need to get any loan as of yet we'll be in the green today let's let's just rush this and let's have a construction workers finish uh, oh they have finished work it's just the planning that still uh, is on there making getting me confused all right we will um, ops panel runways okay so we have two runways and we can make it for arrivals and departures on the but for now we'll just oh look they're using two runways already for different landing and taking off which is amazing but we don't want that to happen right we want one to be for landing and one to take off specifically but we can't really put upgrades on this as of yet. So we have to just wait for the cash to flow in. I hope I have not made a big mistake by constructing all of this and running out of money to eventually do anything. Taking a sip of water. Hmm. Now we're making money. I don't think we're going to we're going to lose out. We're not going to go bankrupt can also always increase the money that I get from passengers and the air the aircraft carriers but I think that may have a negative effect on their interest here we may get some flights cancelled so I don't want to do that we are running a very tight ship and uh, departures and arrivals are pretty much on time so that's good I feel how what do you feel do you feel we're doing well I feel we're doing well if, if I pull this runway more towards this side and uh, in the future we could plan for a terminal back here too you know that would actually be really nice but probably not going to happen. Do I need to do all that replanning though? It's working out now. We could always wait for the replanning to happen later. Could always shift to using one runway and you know. It's going so well. Why why do we waste money on trying to get the runways changed and uh, replaced let's see 90 we need 90 tiles of runway where do you think it's going to be better can we get 90 here yeah we can get 90 here so then we get more space for a wing up here too if you get the space free you can't have intersecting the runways yet that's going to be a big problem so we have to build it here and that just makes things ugly We'll let it go on. I'm not going to uh, rummage around with the runways yet, uh, like the existing runway. I wanted to delete it and have it replaced, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's upgrade. Let's first get um, a runway ILS for this runway here. Okay, using a lot of money, but it's required to let uh, flights operate in bad weather too. And then we'll get the lights fixed. We can do the lights too. No, 25,000. I need to wait on that. Can do the PAPI. No worries. Uh, no, we'll do the PAPI once the light is placed. Okay. Okay. Good day. Good day. Good day. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to briefly. Uh, have a transition 
once where I have more money so that we can continue on with the work and you don't need to see me grind through. Alright folks, it was quite a huge time that I spent between this cut but it was required because I, I made some expenditures and I couldn't really keep us in green for a long time but let me get you through what I did. I upgraded these runways with the uh, Pappy, the ALS, ILS and the lights as you can see. I have removed the extra bit of taxiway that we had going here and there and I've doubled the taxiway here where our gates would be so flights can come and go at the same time at least I, I think that can happen and this is for uh, incoming flights this is for takeoffs so they can easily swerve through each other and go wherever they want to go uh, and it's been going smoothly we are not having flights delayed everything's on time everything's ahead of uh, time in fact we can start scheduling more flights once we have um, another gate but before that I I have also hired a finance VP and I'm going to start researching lower income tax oh we ran out of money to start in just when I reached is when we ran out of money what I have also done is I went into commercial pricing and I've bumped up uh, from 800 to 900 for runway usage per usage and what they charge the passengers from 40 to 45 so this should help uh, a bit to regain all the money that we have spent our last flight was late by 10 minutes why was it late hmm. now before we get another gate placed we really need to have more security and i feel i can optimize my exit a lot better so what we're going to do is instead of the security exit here we're going to have a security exit here which feeds directly into baggage claim here so if we lay foundations now it's going to cost us a lot a bomb in fact but something like this you know 45,000 we need 45,000 for that but uh, 46 let's say this this will be our exit feeder It'll be perfect and uh, we will then close out this area completely and expand the security and the waiting hall here some bit more makes sense doesn't it it's, it works perfectly like it's meant to be this way i why didn't i think of this before but this is what is fun about games like sim airport or any construction management game you make changes as you go on you don't start perfectly you can never start perfectly you just modify and uh, keep going as uh, required now let's see if uh, we're going to have any trouble with boarding deboarding yeah some bit of delays but the flights aren't getting delayed yeah they're, they're taking off in time this one will take off in time too just one minute late damn it Okay, that's a problem. Our security is already becoming a bottleneck, as you can see. We probably let's just put another ID check stand. Wait, first let's hire a security guard. Then we go in here, go for ID check stand. Uh, place one. Oh, I paused the game. Place one here. Assign it to the coach queue here. We have two coach queues. Oh, okay, fine. And um, let's assign this to this stand as well. Two stands. Because this one is assigned to two stands, right? Yeah, and this one is assigned to two stands. Yeah. Perfect. This one's starting to build up a bit. Yeah, but they're getting through. They're getting through. Okay. Uh, okay. So, as we planned, let's work out our exit. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Let's research lower income tax, for tax first. I know we need to build foundation and it's important, but lowering our income tax is going to make it so much better because we're going to make more profit. We're paying 53k in taxes now. Any bit 
that cuts down on that is perfect. The guests need... Hmm, it's more of boredom and hunger for them. That's the biggest uh, concerns right now. Hunger, environment, boredom. Hunger. Hunger is always on top, even though we we have lots of um, food counters. We have this bar, which um, $691 of revenue today. Desert Kiosks ha ha has earned a seven, seven, $781. Apparel Stand has earned us none. It's turning out to be... Let's dismantle the Apparel Stand. It's a waste. Off you go. And the snack kiosk is earning us so much. How much is the food vending machine earning us? Lots. Uh, there's some trash here. Oh, do we need a trash can? Well, there is a trash can here, but okay. Let's let's uh, trash uh, garbage bin. Let's go. Let's uh, and then let's have a plant too for continuing the aesthetics. The, the ones that we're going with. The executive looking plant. Uh, here you go. Awesome. Okay, has the taxes been reduced yet? No, it's still researching. But we have enough money to start building our 3x2 foundation up onto here. Yeah, perfect. Build that up, will you please? And once that's done, we can have a better secure exit, you know, instead of jamming people through the center here. They orderly come out on the side. It would probably work out better that way. So let's let's see what queues we have going on here. Yeah. Okay, we have one queue starting here that ends here, one feeder here, and one this is for the premium and first pass. It's going well. It's going well. Okay, we have the Okay, security exit. Let's have it placed here and here. Let's wall this up. First here. And then we'll remove the security exits there. Uh, clear. Come on, quickly. Okay, remove the walls here and remove these two items here. Okay, awesome. Now we need uh, we need where's that flooring? Yes, yeah, our flooring because it looks ugly without the flooring. I can't bear to see it without the flooring. It's so ugly. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Now we need to get rid of all the walls uh, here that we have. Awesome floors. God damn it. There we go. Clean. Now the exit is actually going to be a lot better. And uh, we can get rid of the walls here too. I forgot. This awkward wall here. <laughs> and I need to place the damp flooring again there. Uh, and we can uh, then. Hmm. We'll change around these things a bit. Let's dismantle this ATM. Let's uh, go to uh, benches. Let's get the premium bench. It's the premium looking bench right here. Oh, flight info display is there. We'll change it up. Don't worry. The person sitting right next to the flight info display will be like, What? What's going on? No, I can't see anything. Okay, uh, flight info display goes here then we need um, garbage bin here and here and one plant the plant here decorative plant oh, come on. there you go uh, we can also have uh, a flight info display placed here Yeah, here is fine. That's fine. Just one flight info display there is fine for the information for the information requirements. 
and an ATM. We removed an ATM, so let's put an ATM back here, right near the exit. For those getting out, if they need to use the ATM, they use it to, you know, just like. This. And this works out a lot better. Now we can expand the security, have more. We can't have more ID check stands, can we? No, we can't. So we have this baggage claim so close. Could move the carousel away, but this is fine. We can we can just expand the security with more scanners and ID check stands will become uh we can have one more ID check, I feel. Just one. Yeah, we, we have place for one more, so that's fine. But currently the ID check stand is not where the bottleneck is. So. We're working our way through. Saving money. Oops, sorry. Um, is the research done? Yeah, lower income tax research is done. How much tax? Look at that. It went from 43,000 taxes to 40, uh, 53 to 46. That's a lot of saving. We are now making a total of 95k per day. That's amazing. It's really amazing. Okay, let's place our gate. Um, aircraft gate. Large run, large aircraft needs. We can't accept large planes, right? Yeah, we can't accept large planes yet. Because uh, we don't have bigger runways. We need like one tenth of that. So, so we'll just keep going for smaller gates. That's fine. Um, eventually, I'll also have a top floor. But for now, we're just going to go for the bottom. So the gate comes here. How much is the gate costing us? 9,400. Fine. Let's get the gate placed first and let's have the foundation extend. Yeah, we need money for that much. Look, it needs $150,000 for that much more foundation. Are you kidding me? Well, that's like two days of profits for us, but still, that's a lot. Anyways, we have made some improvements to our runways, to our infrastructure. Minor. We hired a new... Um, a new uh, employee, the finance of BP. We are paying lower taxes to the government now, so things are going great. We just need to optimize. Um, is it optimize? No, we just need to cons keep expanding and optimize the security, but keep expanding in general. I think we can fit in. Like, how many more gates can we fit in? One. The gate is. Um, four taxiways in general right so uh four and oh oh so i should have placed the runway a block more that side shouldn't i damn okay maybe two more gates we can get two more gates in there which is great for now but we'll see. We'll see as we go ahead. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Sim Airport. I'll see you all next time. Until then, stay awesome.